What's up guys? I'm really excited for this episode because we're gonna dive into a little bit of the Turbolinx iOS adapter. Um, and the th same thing probably applies to the Android one, I just haven't used that yet. So the coolest thing about Turbolinx 5 is the mobile adapters, the desktop like Mac, Windows, uh, Linux adapters for the desktop stuff. But the iOS ones are really the ones that, uh, the iOS and the Android, the mobile ones, are the ones that people are most interested in because those are the ones that people um, are seeing as requirements when you're building a new um, application these days. You're gonna need your mobile apps. So Turbolinx 5 is touting that as the biggest feature of why it's awesome. And I definitely agree it's awesome. The thing is, it's not as simple as you might expect because um, Turbolinx in mobile, at least on the iOS one, probably the Android one as well, um, disables form submission. So you might toss your application, your web app into Turbolinx 5 iOS and realize that when you go to login, uh, you type in your email and password, it doesn't work. Um, and the reason why they did that is because on mobile, you wanna submit those forms with JavaScript. You wanna submit XHR requests, and that way your web view doesn't have to reload the CSS and JavaScript again, and you would lose the native feel, the responsiveness of your application if you forced every form to reload in the browser just like it normally does. So we're gonna dive into this. I'm gonna create a sample app we can play with. We're gonna load up the iOS Turbolinx um, example. We're gonna put that app in there and we're gonna take a look at the problem and how we can solve it um, and how we can make the form submissions work with mobile without doing a huge rewrite of all of our create and update and destroy actions, which would be a real pain in the butt. So we're gonna uh, dive into that now. So this isn't a normal site to see in GoRails. We have Xcode open. I've loaded up the Turbolinks demo, which if you clone...